Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to set game loop custom resolution with proper key mapping. Yes, you can set any resolution you like. You can see some custom resolutions on screen that you can use for your emulator settings. Higher values are for high-end PCs, and lower values are for low-spec PCs. I usually use two types of resolution, the normal iPad view and the longer iPad view. You can set your own resolution and use it for your gameplay. I'll also teach you how to fix your key mapping for your custom resolution in this video. Let's dive in. Now, without any further delay, let's start the video. First of all, open Game Loop Settings. If you want, you can copy other settings from mine. For the resolution, you can copy from mine or set any resolution that I showed a few seconds back in this video. Go check it again. I won't put it here again. It will take more time to render. Haha. <laughs> now, after this, if you open the game and go to the training ground, some keys might not be working. If they are still working, they might not work the way they should. Items, pickup keys, entering vehicle keys, firing button, jumping, crouching, and proning keys might not function properly. If pressing the space button fires bullets, then the key mapping isn't set according to this resolution. You need to correct it manually from the in-game controls. First, you need to know which button is tapping on which corner of the screen. To do that, you need to open the settings and enable developer options. If you can't find developer options, you need to turn it on. To do that, keep tapping on the build number in the about phone section. After doing this, go to developer options, scroll down, and you will find show taps in the input section. Turn it on. After doing this, you will see on-screen taps when you click anywhere on the screen. This way, you can easily see which button is working on which corner of your screen. Now here's the important part. Don't mess with the key mapping of game loop settings. Change the controls from the in-game settings. Change every control according to the key mapping. You can either put your finger on your monitor screen and then drag and drop the control button to the area where it functions with the key you want. Do the same with the item picking box. Go near any item and game loop key mapping for the FGH buttons will appear on your screen. Put your finger on all three options, then go to Game Control Settings. Make it large and fit it with all three options. You can also decrease its opacity. Now everything seems to be working fine for your character's movement. Next, we are going to set key mapping for vehicles. I am choosing this option for vehicle control. You can choose any other as well. Use the same trick. Put your finger on your monitor screen and then drag those keys to your fingers area. After doing that, your vehicle will start functioning with all keys. Now, we are set with all key mapping. For those who want to make the game full screen by removing game loop black borders, follow me. Close the emulator and open the NVIDIA control panel. Set your custom resolution here, which you have set on your game loop. 
Setting this up is like finding the perfect seat in a movie theater. Takes a bit of effort, but it's totally worth it for the best view. Then apply it, and you might find that your monitor screen goes black on the left and right borders. To remove those big black borders, you need to set that resolution to full screen. Go to Adjust Desktop Size and Position Panel. It is set to Aspect Ratio by default. You need to change it to full screen. This way, those black borders will get removed. And there you have it. You've just unlocked the secret to a perfect gaming experience. But you will find out that your sensitivity has changed after these settings. This is because your screen is now stretched horizontal view to match your monitor screen, making your horizontal sensitivity feel like it's on a caffeine rush while your vertical sensitivity is stuck in slow motion. You can easily fix this in the game loop key mapping settings. Just head over to the mouse settings and either decrease the horizontal mouse sensitivity or increase the vertical mouse sensitivity. Adjust it according to your comfort. It's like finding the perfect balance in a seesaw. Get it just right and you're back to smooth gaming. Enjoy the smooth gameplay. And remember, in our realm, lag is just a myth. Smash that like button like it's a speed bump on your road to gaming glory. Stay wired, stay weird, and most importantly, stay winning. Catch you in the next video.